everybody, this is Roxy, and I wanted to share my recipe for um, antibacterial hand sanitizer. This is all with just distilled water, or you can use like a Everclear vodka, hunter proof. But I just use water. I think with this new virus, I might um, make my next batch with vodka. Um, but we'll see. I mean, this works. It's proven to work. All right, so here's the recipe. Distilled or filtered water or the highest proof vodka you can find. Do that. Um, tea tree oil, antibacterial all purpose, as is thyme, very beneficial for antibacterial. Lavender is an antifungal. And for this, it's mostly for scent, but Lemongrass or lemon would be, you could switch that out with the lavender for kind of a nicer scent for your hands. Um, and then also vitamin E, I didn't bring that down. That's a little more softening, you know, so that you don't get dried out. Other anti-back oils are cinnamon, thyme, and tree tea tree. Those are probably the top three. And yeah. Heard rosemary too. So here's what it is: eight to ten drops of tea tree, five to eight of lavender, one to two of vitamin E, and then table salt. And what you want to do is probably an eighth to a fourth teaspoon of table salt. Put it in the bottle, add your oils, and then shake it up really, really, really well so that the oil or the salt absorbs all the oils. Then put your water in because Oil and water doesn't mix, so the salt will help that to mix. And as you can see, there's no salty residue or anything. And this smells really pretty. Like tea tree, like I said, can be kind of strong, but the lavender really tones it down and makes it a really, really nice scent. And it's soft. Like I've made this without the E, and it still doesn't dry your hands really bad like, you know, the kind you buy in the store. So, there's my recipe for hand sanitizer when you can't get it in the market. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.